All right, YouTube. Welcome to today's video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a um, a blitz beating formation from the Arizona Cardinals playbook. We're going to go run right to the audibles real quick. Uh, go down to coaching options. Go down to your offense audibles. And uh, today we're going to talk about the um, HB Will. The HB Will is probably my favorite play in the game. I mean, it, it's one of my favorite plays in the game. I don't run it enough. I really don't. For as much as I love to run it. Uh, but it's from the gun flip trips out of Arizona, HB Wheel, uh, one of the best concepts in the game. The only issue with it is, it is, again, it's a formation that is, is, is very effective. But the, like I said, the only issue with the formation is the fact that the, the running back is out wide. And, like, that's nice, but it's not nice at the same time because, you know, I can't, there's no threat of a, a, a run, which is why I utilize it as a blitz beater. So, like, I, I'll let you set up your blitz. So, for example, we're just going to come out and uh, standard uh, DV blitz from Dime, uh, one of the better blitz, con one of the main blitz concepts in the year, the overload. Um, but anyway, you know, this is one of the best blitzing, uh, beating formations in the game. Now, there's a couple, you, I don't think you can motion anybody, can you? Yeah, you can't motion anybody. Uh, that's another issue with this formation, but this play pound for pound in terms of a quick uh, blitz beating formation is, is one of the best in the game. So uh, let's talk about some hot routes real quick. Uh, the one thing I want to do with this play is you can put Randall Cobb on a 10 yard out route and basically create curl flats if you want to run like that. That's very simple to do. You can also put him on a fade route. I, I've done that uh, a lot uh, because it works similarly to curl flats and he also goes deeper down the field. Uh, but uh, pound, uh, overall, I think the drag is the best uh, best route for him because it works similar to a zone beater. You have a zone beater inside of it, a, a nice man beat formation. But your first read on this play is your running back. <coughs> Excuse me, but your first read on this play is your running back to the to the uh, the quick flat route. Uh, and what you want to do is you want to wait until he cuts up if they're in man coverage. If, you, if they're in a zone coverage and he's open, throw it. But uh, you know if it, if it's man coverage, wait till he cuts up field and you can get a little more room to run. So. But uh, your next read on this play is going to be your uh, crossing route, your drag route, uh, coming right over the middle, right in there. Uh, that's where you want to stick it in. If it's not there, don't throw it. Trust me. Uh, you don't want to throw routes that aren't open. But uh, anyway, your next route is your other crossing route here from R1. And he gets a little deeper in the, in, in the midsection. And if you guys think about it, we're three-thirds. There is a, a section here. Uh, the, the drag here, and I wish I had the webcam up so I could point to it. But Randall Cobb coming across on this drag is the first section of the field. And then Jordy Nelson going on the crossing pattern, the second half of the or second third of the field, and then Jordy Nelson finishes off the third of the field with that big deep post. So we're attacking the field in three different dimensions. Uh, we have a comeback on the other side of the field. We have a nice wheel route. This is pound for pound one of the best plays attacked everywhere on the field. Uh, but anywho, your your uh, fourth read is going to be Jordy Nelson, and, and, and it's going to be somewhere in there uh, is where you're going to hit him. Uh, let's just go to a standard human under just to show you. Uh, but standard two men under, you see, you can pass lead him, and it's a man switch because of the crossing pattern. Uh, they, you know, he gets uh, basically matched up against the guy all the way on the other side of the field. Let me just show you. Two men under, you see the matchup. You see how that guy's over there, and a lot of teams are base aligning. Uh, and you'll see Jordy Nelson is going to get wide open at the snap of the ball there because of, his, because of the alignment of the formation that throws people off. So that's what we need to note. And then last read is, of course, your deep comeback. This is late, 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 late. Uh, you want to throw it right before he comes back. You could smart route this comeback. Uh, actually, you know, it's a little quicker, so it'll work a little quicker. So one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, and then you're at the ball's out. So right about three, and that's about as long as you need to read the rest of the field. So that's cool. Let's talk about this play against zone coverage. Uh, so standard cover three. You see that route is still open at the quick flat out of a standard cover three out of the dime formation. So... Uh, just know that if there's a media flat center, though, you don't want to throw that. Uh, so you're just going to move. Uh, so imagine that guy's defended. Move right to your next read, and that's your crossing pattern over the middle. And we know that that's going to be zone coverage nine times out of ten, uh, unless they use her to defend that middle linebacker, in which case that's going to leave the next half of the, or the third of the field open to R1 with the pass lead up. Um, you see that there. And then lastly, uh, we have our, our, our next read, rather, is Jordy Nelson here uh, going up the seams. Pass lead down to the inside. Click on. You're going to make a play uh, in that in that deeper third of the field. And then, uh, last but not least, we have our, our route, our smart route of comeback out of our three, one thousand, one one thousand two throw. It's open uh, against man. It should be open against zone. Uh, I think I accidentally bumped man instead of zone that time. So let me go to the zone here. Uh, yeah, you see that 
that's going to get open because of the formation's alignment now. Now, rather, if they base the line, however, if they base the line like a zone coverage here, so base the line it, uh, and smart route that comeback here on the outside, you'll see that that flat route's going to kind of get out there. But you see if it's, you know, it, it, it kind of doesn't play it because the R-run route comes across the field right as soon as he's getting over there. So it's a little bit more difficult to, uh, to do that. So things, you know, do that what you will. As far as, uh, you know, other reads on this play, like I say, you can put Cobb on a, on a fade pattern here. And you're just going to, you know, click on. You want to make a little swivel animation. You want to try and make a quick catch. The cool part is, against like a cover three, like we showed in our, our, uh, our man, if we haven't already put it up, our Madden 25 training camp video, the curl flat, you can throw a quick fade pattern, and you see he's going to stick in behind because that flat route's going to suck that flat route down, and there's not gonna be, there's not going to be anybody in that half the field. <laughs> so that's what we have going on there with the snap throw fades. I mean, you can utilize that. That's a quick 10 yards. So I mean, you know, but the only issue is if they're in, say, like a quick off man coverage, uh, you want to wait till he cuts it, and you want to try and make a catch like that, but sometimes he'll drop it. So that's the issue with that. That's why I like to keep uh, that drag consistent. But anyway. Uh, another thing you can do with this is you can put Nelson on a zig or a fade. I mean, you can do whatever you want with Nelson, but he's usually he's usually going to be uh, either the second or the third read, depending on where you want to hot route him to. But anyways, guys, that's been the gun flip trips. That's really all we do from it. Uh, that's all I do. I run this play, and uh, it, it, I usually really rarely throw any other route than that right there. Um, it's just I, I never get to that late. And say you get late in the reads, pass. If uh, say they're running like a cover. Uh, a cover one or a two-man under, but a cover, a cover zero version. So like, say they say they put like this guy in a hook and that guy in a hook, and you know they they're, they're kind of watching out the middle. Uh, if we wait, 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 pass lead up on that wheel route, you see he's going to get the separation deep. And I don't know if he does. He may do that with the deep safety. Even let's show you here standard two-man under the safety the, the deep out. Yeah, you see he goes after the post route. So that's the thing. If they're playing like a coverage defense. <coughs> So say, you know, your coverage defense this year, two-man under purples, and a hook, and a spy, and they blitz nobody. So they blitz nobody. Well, this wheel route is going to crush it, because if you take a look here, that safety's playing that deep half, but he's not going to get there in time to play that wheel route, and you see we kind of put that in there. So that's a nice uh, a nice thing to have in your back pocket. So anyways, guys, that's the blitz beating formation. I don't know how Harris is dropping balls like a boss, but I may have to put Alex Green in. But anyway... Hope you guys appreciate this video. Uh, this has been the Gunflip Trips breakdown uh, as far as our scheme of the week goes. Uh, we have, I think we have one more formation to get to. Oh, no, we have two more. Two more formations. Gosh, dang. Okay, so we got two more formations to get through uh, this week for you guys uh, in terms of the scheme of the week, and we'll get that done as soon as possible. Uh, we have a split off that coming, and we have the single back eight coming to you guys. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, and stay tuned for the next ones uh, that follow. Thanks, guys, and have a good day.